sense of fear. What a lovely surprise. The children will be thrilled to see you. There's nothing like the excited, enthusiastic, Which openly friend? affectionate greeting of <laughs> small children. What's in the box? Is it a gift for us? <laughs> Put it to for us. What, is, what it? is it? Children. Huh? Do you want your Uncle Arthur and Sophia to think you only care about the gifts they bring? You don't want to hurt their feelings, do you? I'm sorry. Uncle Arthur! Sophia! We're happy to see you, and it doesn't matter if you brought us anything or not. Presenting Arthur's latest, greatest invention! <laughs> Bob! Bob? I am Robo-Bob. You can call me Bob. Wow! wow. Robot. A robot! This is great! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pom. Hi, Bob. Hello, Flora. Hello, Alexander. Hi, Bob! Hello, Isabel. Oh, my! <gasps> there, there, baby. <laughs> Let us do many things together. Let us have much fun. Wow! <laughs> this is great! Arthur, you've outdone yourself. Thank you, Babar. But Zephyr helped me all the way. I never could have outdone myself. Myself. So, Pompadour Cornelius? What do you think of Bob? The, the robot's very cute. It's a very nice toy for the children. Cute? Nice toy? This is a sophisticated, complex piece of engineering. Sire, we simply must get back to work now. Not before we give you a demonstration of what my robot can really do. But, but, Baba, there's no time. We have to prepare for this afternoon's committee meeting, and then there's the planning session after that. Arthur and Zephyr have gone to a great deal of trouble. That's right! We've been in the lab for weeks! For months! For days! Uh, that is, four weeks, four months, and four days! Somebody else's room. Well, Cornelius, Pompadour, now what do you think of Bob? Cornelius, Pompadour? They left a little while ago. They said they had important work to do. It couldn't wait. Uh, what? Babar, Pompadour and Cornelius have never taken us seriously. They think that I'm just a crazy eccentric. Now that's not true. Pompadour and Cornelius are just a little preoccupied, that's all. <laughs> we could use our own Robobob. Sire! Sire! I'm sorry, but I really do have to go. <laughs> Arthur, you're a brilliant world-class inventor. If Pompadour and Cornelius think they can treat us like this, they're making a big mistake. A big, big mis... Huh? I think I know how to make Pompadour and Cornelius take us seriously from now on. Yeah, me too. I think. Nothing, really. It's just what inventors do sometimes. Document. Signed. Stamped. Sorted. Filed. Document. Signed. Stamped. Sorted. Filed. Document. Signed. Stamped. Sorted. Cornelius. 
Julius, are you all right? <laughs> uh, oh, I, I'm sorry. It, it's nothing. I, I'm just a little... Uh, uh, filed. Tired? You too? Sit down and rest, Cornelius. Yeah, but, Baba, there's still so much work to do. He's right, sire. We can't stop now. Tired, tired, tired. Oh, my tusks. I don't want anyone getting sick, Pompadour. We really could use some help. Have no fear. We are here. And we're proud to present Arthur's latest, latest, greatest, bestest invention. Presenting... Bob Jr. Hello, Babar. I am Robobob Jr. You can call me Bob Jr. I will help you around the office. Oh, my tusks. Don't be ridiculous, Arthur. A toy like this, no matter how large it is, could never do the kind of work that... I am not a toy. I am a sophisticated, computerized, mechanized executive assistant. <gasps> and now for a demonstration of Bob Jr.'s amazing abilities, capabilities, and facilities. Sire, we have no time for this. Well, there's no harm in watching, Pompadour. We need all the help we can get. Good thinking, Babar. Let us go to work. Fantastic. Arthur, what your robot has done in the last five minutes would have taken us all day. Isn't that right, Pompadour? Cornelius? Uh, perhaps. Well... <gasps> Bless you. Bless you. We really showed them, didn't we, Zephyr? Yeah, but now they know they made a big mistake. A big, big mis... Shh! Whoa! <sighs> Children, what's wrong? Well, last night we were having so much fun playing with Bob. We forgot all about doing our homework. So, we let Bob do it. I don't think you should let Bob do your homework. You'll never learn that way. We know. It was wrong we won't do it again. Especially since Bob's not very good at homework. What? Bob didn't get a single answer right. And now we have to tell Dad. Before he finds out from our teacher. Jumping jelly beans, Arthur. It looks like Bob's got a screw loose. And in a robot, that can be serious. We'd better tell Babar. No! Pompadour and Cornelius would find out. Bob just needs a minor adjustment, that's all. A minor adjustment? But you saw all those mistakes. Shh! Uh, why do you do that every time I say mis... Shh! Bob does not make... Mistakes. But Bob does make mistakes. He made nothing but mistakes on the children's homework. Robo-Bob makes no mistakes. No, no. No, 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 no. Mistakes. No, no, no. Ah! Miss. No, 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 no. Mistakes. Why? Is he ever touchy? No. Miss. What are you doing with that screwdriver? Just a minor adjustment, Bob. No minor adjustment necessary. Robo-Bob makes no mistakes. No, no mistakes. No, 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 no. Arthur, we've got to tell Babar about this. Now, sire, don't forget your 415 appointment. That's all right, Pompadour. Bob Jr. has already reminded me. And Babar, the museum chairman... Relax, Cornelius. Bob Jr. has already looked after that. Do you hear that, Zephyr? You can stop worrying. But, Arthur, we use the same design for both robots. And if the little robot makes mistakes, the big robot will make even bigger mistakes. 
Say anything. My tusks. Now, uh, Rob Jr. I, I was just about to. I am Robobob Jr., not Rob Jr. You can call me Bob Jr. Well, excuse me. You are excused. Well, I think I'll go to my room for a little rest. That sounds like a very good idea, Cornelius. I think I'll do the same. You two rest for as long as you want. I will look after everything here. <sighs> Well, Babar, I just wanted to tell you that I have something to tell you. Well, I have something to tell you, too, Arthur. Go right ahead, Babar. Arthur! Robobob Jr. is a marvelous invention. Just this morning, we were swamped with work. But now, well, <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to keep myself busy. That's great, Babar! Isn't that great, Zephyr? If you won't tell Babar, then I will. Tell me what? That Bob Jr. is coming in right now. Babar, it is time to leave for your 415 appointment. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. You'll have to excuse me. Arthur! Listen, Zephyr. There's nothing wrong with Bob Jr. Why, look at this office. I intend to, Arthur. In fact, I intend to go over it with a finely combed tooth. I told you, Zephyr, you won't find any miss... anything not right. Bob Jr. is in fine working order. Then what about this? Oh. Cornelius probably did that. You know how forgetful he is. Cornelius would never have put these things in here. Bob Jr. did. Bob Jr. makes mistakes just like Bob did. But bigger mistakes. Gigantic mistakes! Oops! It is not possible. Robobob Jr. makes no mistakes. It's not possible. It's... it's a trouble. <laughs> And I thought Bob was touchy. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. That's right, Zephyr. We have to clean this up before anybody sees it, then corner Bob Jr. and get him to the lab. One minor adjustment later, and Pompadour and Cornelius will never find out. No, Arthur, you've got to tell Babar. But Babar's not here. Trust me, Zephyr, it's simple. When are we going to tell Father? You mean, how are we going to tell Father? What's going on? Shh! We're trying to find Bob Jr. Then what are you doing in the doorway? Shh! There he is, Arthur. <gasps> Bob Jr., come back! We just want to make a minor adjustment. I mean, talk! I think Bob Jr. has a screw loose, too. No, it's a minor adjustment. Stop him, Zephyr! I'm trying to! No, 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 no,
It was simple. I hate it when you say that. No! Oh, 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 oh. Screwdriver, screwdriver, screwdriver. <laughs> no screwdrivers, no, 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 no adjustments, no mistakes, no. Father, we have to tell you something. Yes, children? Well, uh... Babar, Arthur has something to tell you. Um... We'll talk to you later, Father. Well, very well, thank you. Babar, we have something to tell you. Who doesn't have something to tell me? Pompadour, you go right ahead. Would you like Zephyr and I to leave? Arthur! No. Actually, we have something to tell you two as well. Pompadour and I have realized that we made a rather large mistake. What? We were wrong to judge you so harshly, Arthur. You do have real talent. Why, thank you. And Zephyr helps you as much as he can. Thanks. Bob and Bob Jr. are truly incredible machines. In fact, with Bob Jr. here to help Babar, Pompadour and I have become rather obsolete. Antiquated, outdated, unnecessary, redundant. <laughs> what are you saying? You know, what we're saying, Baba, is that we are resigning. We've just come to say goodbye. <laughs> what? No! Pompadour and Cornelius, you're making a big mistake. This whole thing is my fault. You see, there's a major flaw in the robot's design. We discovered it with Bob, and I wanted to cover it up. But now Bob Jr. is malfunctioning as well. He tore the office apart. It looked like a hurricane hit it. Uh, but we cleaned it up. <sighs> Thank you for trying. But Cornelius and I know when we've been overtaken by... Progress. If you don't believe me, I'm going to have to prove it to you. No, 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 no. Mistakes. My tusks, it's true. Rob Jr. is badly flawed. Oh, no. He's good and flawed. <laughs> he, he does make mistakes. No, 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 no. Mistakes. Shh. This is all my fault. Everyone makes mistakes, Arthur. Don't you see? That's the difference between us and these no, machines. We can admit when we've done something wrong. Oh, I've done something wrong, all right. You well, don't tell us, Arthur. Tell Bob Jr. Good idea, Cornelius. <laughs> You can call me Bob Jr. I am Arthur. You can call me Arthur. I know you, Arthur. You made Bob Jr. You did a good job. Thanks. But actually, when I made you, I made a mistake. It is not possible. Arthur made RoboBob Jr. Arthur does not make mistakes. Oh, so when I said I made a mistake, I guess I was mistaken. <laughs> But if I don't make mistakes, then when you said I made a mistake, you must have made a mistake. Well, I must say that I'm very relieved there are no more robots. Speaking about robots, Father... Yes, dear? It's about our homework. What about your homework? <laughs> Presenting the new and improved Bob and Bob Jr. My tusks! Relax, everyone! Zephyr and I have changed the robots' programming. Now they are quite willing to admit when they make a mistake. Oops, sorry, my mistake. Excuse me, pardon me. Oops, sorry, my mistake. Pardon me. Oops, sorry, my mistake. Oops, Arthur's mistake. Could you sign our homework for us, Father? 
but children. This is all wrong. It's okay, Dad. Bob did the homework for us. These are his mistakes. Sorry, all wrong. Not my mistake. I, I thought you changed the programming, Arthur. I did. Bob, these are your mistakes. Impossible. Robobob not make these mistakes. Arthur did. Arthur program Robobob's memory. These are Arthur's mistakes. Yes, well, history was never my strongest subject. Arthur's mistake. Sorry. Sorry. Arthur's mistake. My mistake. Arthur's mistake. Oops. Sorry. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oops. Oops. Sorry. My mistake. Arthur's mistake. Sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Sorry. sorry. Pardon me. My mistake. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. 